Good evening and welcome to Business. Regional integration continues to be the way to go for most countries in Africa. Kenya seems to be leading the pack in East Africa and tonight our latest entrant KTN's Abi Agina spoke to Cabinet Secretary Tourism, Commerce and East African Affairs, Phil Skandia together with East Africa Business Council member Kelly Kiluto to get um, their latest perspective of the gains being made and areas that are still lagging behind in regional integration. What are some of the highlights that you can speak of that you have realized since you came into office? A lot has happened um, over, the, over, 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 over the year. Um, across the board, um, you are talking about, you know, um, implementation of, um, you know, policies, the ESC um, uh, visa. Um, and three countries have implemented that protocol. That is Uganda, uh, Rwanda, and Kenya. Mm -hmm. um, within it, also, it was agreed that we would use the national ID to uh, cross the borders. So that has really helped in the movement of of of, of people across across the border. The other one that we have done also is um, we have ensured that um, the one-stop shop, uh, the one-stop border post. Mm -hmm. Um, two are already working. Uh, one is uh, Taveta Lunga Lunga um, border post, yeah. which is working. And then the other one is um, at the border of uh, Rwanda and Uganda. I'm speaking from a business community perspective, has there been an impact along these lines where we're seeing um, more traders crossing borders using national IDs uh, instead of the passport? Yes, uh, exactly. There are quite a lot of people moving uh, across, particularly where the three partner states have agreed that uh, people can move with their own national identities. Therefore, you are seeing an increase in uh, the movement of people and also of uh, goods. Uh, but more important, uh, perhaps you reduce the cost of uh, uh, the telephone. Work. You have roaming costs are removed. Mm -hmm. Then you can imagine what that means in the cost of doing business. Uh, at the same time, air travel, because yes, roaming costs go down, but if the cost of air travel from one partner state to the other doubles, yeah. uh, for example, if uh, all over it's about an hour, whatever you travel in East Africa is one hour. Mm -hmm. Now, the cost of air travel is as, as though you're flying five hours to Dubai. What should you expect moving forward, tangible solutions for traders, for businessmen across the region? What I would like to um, tell the business community and also Wananchi in general is that you, th there are opportunities within East Africa. Don't confine yourself to just trade within Kenya. Well, that's all we had for you today. Do join us next week, same time.